I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. Finally, we have finished level 3. Do you remember what we have learned in level 3? Yes, we have learned major chord and minor chords and also 7th chord too. Today, we're going to review level 3 whole entire lesson. I'm going to ask what kind of chord it is, you have to figure it out, and also you have to be able to play the chords too. So if you know all the lessons, then you can move it on to the level 4. But if you missed more than 4 questions within this video, then it's better to review once. Okay? Now let's see. First, the 10 questions are, you have to figure it out what kind of chord that is. You have to be able to recognize the chord names and you have to be able to write proper symbols for the chord. Let's see. Number one, what is this? C chord, because the bottom name is a C. Is this C major or C minor? If you want to know is this major or minor, you have to check the middle note. How far are they from the bottom to the middle bone? One, two, three, four. If it's four half step, major. So this is a C major chord. How do you have to write it? Like this. Just letter C. Okay, now let's move it on to the number two. What is the chord name? Write it down. First, you have to find the root names for that. And second, you have to figure it out. Is this major chord or minor chord? What is the root name? E. Yes. Is this major or minor? From bottom note to the middle note is just one, two, three half step. So it's minor chord. How do you have to write it? E, small letter M, E minor. Got it? Number three, find a root name and figure it out. Is this major or minor? Yes, G minor. Why? The bottom note is G, and bottom to the middle note is one, two, three. That's why it's G minor. So you need to write it G M, small letter, right? What about number four? Got it? Oh, it looks a little different from the, the other ones, right? Yes, this is the seventh chord. Why? Because you have one more note above it. So, D seventh chord. Yes, the bottom note is D, and middle note has a sharp, and then the next one. So from bottom to the middle note is one, two, three, four half step. So it's D major chord. If it's just this chord, you just need to write it D. But you have one more note above it, the seventh note. Yes, whole step down. So this is just D7, right? Good. What about this? B minor chord, yes. Start from B, and the middle note is one, two, three half step. And the next one is one, two, three, four. So this is B minor chord. Sometimes you can have smaller than four half steps. Then that's gonna be different chord. So you have to check that. Three, four is minor chord. Got it? Let's move it on to the next. What is this? Is this major or minor? Let's see. A. You have C sharp and E. Now let's see how many half steps do we have here. One, two, three, four. So it should be A major. Let's check. From middle to the top note, one, two, three. 
Yes, so, so four, three. That's a major chord. What about the next chord? Yes, so start from F, so it should be F. You have to figure it out. Is this major or minor? F minor chord. So you have to write it F, small letter M. Let's see. From F, the middle note is one, two, three, right? So F flat, A flat, and the next note is one, two, three, four. So three, four. F minor chord. What about this? You have more than three chords, so it should be seventh chord. So you have to add seven to the letter, but you have to figure it out what kind of letter it is. Starts with E, so it should be E. Now, is this E seventh chord or E minor seventh chord? Let's see. E from you have like this, right? So one, two, three, four. Four half steps. So it should be E major chord. It's just E seventh. Got it? Now, what about this? It's easy, right? Yes. G seventh chord. C from from bottom note to the middle note, one, two, three, four half step. And then from middle note to the top, one, two, three. So this is a major chord. And the next step is, the seventh chord is half step down from the G or whole step down from the G. Now let's see, one, two. Yes, whole step down from the G. So this is just regular G seventh chord. So since it's a G chord, G major, you just write it G, and then it's a seventh chord. So you just add it seventh above it. Got it? What about the last question? Yes, let's see. A chord, and since we have more than three, it's a seven. Our option is a major 7 or A minor 7? Let's figure it out. From bottom note to the middle note is 1, 2, 3, 4 half step. So it should be A major. But to check, let's do one more time. 1, 2, 3 half step from middle note to the top. So it's major chord for sure. So A major, so we just write it A and then seventh chord let's check is this half step down from this a or or step down from the a a from one two so this is just regular a seventh chord we write a seven that's it now how many you got it do you got everything or you missed a couple of questions now if you have it confused you can review one more time and you can move it on to the next questions. Next two questions will be a little bit confusing, but it's about the same chord types. Now let's see. This time I'm going to play the chord. You have to write it down, the chord name. What is the answer? C minor. Yes, the bottom note is a C, and you have to figure it out, is this major or minor? Now, the middle note is from bottom to one, two, three half step up. So, it's minor. To make sure, it's better to count from middle note to the top, one, two, three, four, four half steps. So, that's minor for sure. Got it? What about next one? Yes, definitely E chord because the bottom note is E. Is this 
E major or E minor. Let's count. One, two, three, four. So it should be E major chord. But let's make sure. Is this really E major chord? One, two, three. So four bottom, top three. So it's E, ma e major chord. Yes. How do you write it? Just letter name, E. Got it? Let's go. Next to one is... Easy, right? Yes. G major. Bottom note is G. The middle note is one, two, three, four. And then from middle note to the top, one, two, three. So four, three, G major. Write it this way. Next one is... One, two, three, four. D minor. What about Yes, B and one, two, three, four. B major. So write it like this. Got it? Next one is Uh-huh. C seventh chord. C seven. Why? Because the bottom note is a C and it's a C major chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. C major. And you have seventh chord above it. And from C to one, two half step down. So it's a C seventh chord. What about? Mm -hmm. A and one, two, three. One, two, three, four. A minor chord. Next one. Something with the seventh chord. We can see it, right? We have more than three notes. Bottom is F, so it's F7. Our option is F. 7 or F M7, F minor 7. What is it? F7. Why? Because it's F major chord and 7th note. So it's F 7th chord. What about this? D major chord. Why? 1, 2, 3, 4 half steps and one, two, three half step from middle to top. So it's a D major. We just write it D. Very last question. Something with the seventh, right? Because we have one more note above it, four. Now the bottom note is a B, so it should be B7. Our option is B7 or B minor 7. What is it? B from 1, 2, 3, 4 half step up. So it's B major. Let's check 1, 2, 3. So yes, for sure, it's B major chord. What about the seventh note? Yes, from B to 1, 2 half step down. So it's for sure B seventh chord. Got it? So whenever you see the letters, now you know what kind of chord they are talking about, right? So from level four, we're going to use all these major chord, minor chord, and even seventh chord. We're going to play many popular songs. So I hope you know all these chord. And if you missed more than four, just go back and review this video or watch previous theory session. And from next level, we can play more songs with using the chords. So I hope you know all these chords. And if you have still trouble finding the chords, then just go back and watch the review more. Watch the theory lessons from the previous video. I will see you next week with more popular songs in level four. Until the time, stay cool.
and see you next week. Bye!